Hey spuddies, Potato McWhiskey here and welcome to Let's Play Civilization 6 as, well, we're going to be trying to do a one city challenge. Now I've actually never attempted the one city challenge so this is going to be like a raw attempt of me trying to figure it out. I didn't do any research on what the best civs are to try it out and uh, we'll be going through and picking some stuff to see if we can't manipulate the game in our favour. Alrighty, so let's go through our game options right now. We're going to be playing as Seon Diok of Korea, and we're also going to be playing on Didi, 14 City States, Disaster Intensity 4, Small Pangea Map, and let's just jump right into it. Alrighty, and here's our starting location. I will say one little caveat. I am uh, recording this live on Twitch, so I might occasionally make a reference to Twitch chat or talk to them directly. Taking a quick look at this starting location, I'm kind of tempted to settle on this Plains Hill. It would move me away from the coastline, which would give me a pretty damn good um, thing. But this is actually like a really, really terrible starting location for this attempt that we're going to make. Uh, I'm trying to think where would be the best place to put my Seowon in terms of... And I think it's actually over here. So I think in the interest of getting the maximum possible value out of my Seowon, I'm going to plant it here and... Uh, stay in place because it might cost me a lot of gold to purchase over here if I do move to this hill. So we're going to stay in place. So I think there's three key things that we want to unlock early. Oh wait, does the say one has to be built on a hill? Ah, yes. And now I have regrets. We'll probably place it there on that forest. Let's go ahead and grab mining and immediately start a builder or sorry immediately start a monument well double scout I think is actually a pretty reasonable opener here I thought we were going to place it here but then I remembered say wants need to be placed on hills so it was a bit of a derp moment uh never mind uh the say one will be 100% going right there Oh no, it doesn't get adjacency from geothermals. Well, that's unfortunate. This is a one city challenge, so no, I will not be allowed to conquer other cities. If you are wondering in the chat. So yeah, I'm thinking this might be the best spot to place it. I've never done a one city challenge, so I'm not really sure what the right move is. But we'll see what we can pull off. There's a card. That would be great if we were actually building um, <laughs> things like settlers. <laughs> Too bad. All right, let's head to the north and see if we can find anything. It looks like there is another player right there. Let's go for a second scout. Keep exploring. <clears throat> There is Jaya Varman. It's actually too early to send him a delegation, but I will. Because uh -huh. I wanted that gold, but unfortunate reality. We should definitely be working the food. We want to grow as fast as possible. All right, and there we have mining so we can chop this forest in order to place the Seowon. We're going to go straight for the Seowon now. And we will keep exploring with our little scout over here. Warrior has not found anything interesting. We're about to get our second scout. I think I might go triple scout this game. Which is a little bit unorthodox. But since we don't plan on settling anything, I think it's totally fine to do. There's Candy. We weren't the first to meet them. Okay, and we'll explore up north now. We're trying to find city-states, basically, so that we can maybe plot around different things. The tribal village there, I would like to pick that up. <clears throat> A little bit of extra gold isn't bad. 
means we could potentially buy a better tile like that one. I definitely think uh, hindsight 2020, I should have moved to this Plains Hill, put my sail on there, and then put a bunch of farms in here. But, you know, uh, things didn't quite work out that way. I'm pretty good, Savvy Lobster. Savvy Lobster is currently in my Twitch chat, if you're watching on YouTube. That's why I'm talking to random people. Okay, so I think uh, I would like a Pantheon, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and plug in that. I'll send you Northwest. And we'll get to work on, uh, well, craftsmanship. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves a builder into a monument. Well, there is Hattusa. We were not the first to meet them, but we can start a relationship with them. Hattusa noticed me, Senpai. There's a barb camp over there already. Keep exploring. And there's Nazca. Now the nice thing about Nazca is there is a couple of desert tiles within range of my city that I might be able to use to uh, buff me up a little bit. There's Auckland and we were the first to meet Auckland. It's going to help us build our monument and other stuff. No, I haven't done a sub-127 uh, turn culture win yet. I could very easily do one, though, if I wanted to. Um, with the optimizations that we learned from doing the other run. There's Antan and Arivo, but we were not the first to meet them. There's France. I will send... Uh, I clicked the wrong button there. I will send France a delegation just to improve our relationship a little bit. Would conquering and raising cities still count as a one city challenge? Yes, it probably would, and that might be something that we look into doing. There's Cardiff. Look you guys to move out of my way so I can keep exploring, please. Cardiff and Antioch, excellent. Why scouts sometimes pay off when you're playing on Didi. Try and reveal all this terrain. Head there and get chopping. Can you move, please? Keep exploring. Excellent. Hey, Coravan. How's it going, buddy? Alrighty. Keep exploration going. You're going to head to the north. You're going to chop there to finish the monument a little bit quicker because we want to put the sail on there. It's only in a few turns. Want to look around for barb camps to send uh, warriors to go kill them. And uh, now... Tis our sacred duty to build a couple of mines. I'm going to go ahead and buy this tile as well. That wants to be a mine, so they get the maximum value out of my sale one. You've done a good job exploring over here. You head up this way in that general direction. And we've got three turns until that comes out. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves a granary. We'll switch. I think I will finish the granary, but I will definitely place the say I want. Let's go ahead and attack there for a little bit of experience. Your exploration is well received. Put another one there. We're playing on normal game speed and deity difficulty for the curious in chat there who are watching while we do this live. Alright, the granary, four turns until completion, one turn until we unlock this. I could switch away from craftsmanship, but I don't plan to get another builder. And I'd like to get state workforce up, I think. I would be placing it right there. Because that would be a net... Hmm. 
Let's have a look and think. Yeah, I really do regret. I really should have moved to here, but it's too late for that now. So we might, if we're going to put a harbor, it's going to be there. We're going to put a sail one. It's going to be there. We're going to put a commercial hub. It's probably going to be there. No, scratch that. That's an industrial zone. That's an aqueduct. We're going to want the aqueduct for the growth. And then a commercial hub could fit there nicely. And then I suppose an encampment could go there eventually. Water park. Depending on if we get to it or not. And then a spaceport would likely go like there-ish. That's the current layout of things I'm thinking about. I think that would be a perfectly reasonable way to do things. Okay, let's keep exploring. This guy is kind of like in an isolated part. I'm going to set him to auto-explore. There we go, we can place the sail one and we will. We are going to finish the ground. No, this. Yeah, we're going to finish the granary first because we want to keep growing. So it would probably be a good idea to get to education first. So I'll pick up animal husbandry. Make our way over there. I could steal that and delete it, but I'm just going to put my scouts on auto-explore. We'll put a mine there. Um, yeah, what the hell, we'll finish the sale one first. Ah, but we're so close to the granary, and I think the long-term growth benefits of the granary are worth it. Attack that man. There's a major flood, and there's craftsmanship. More importantly, we're trying to get the state workforce to place the government plaza. Where are we going to place the government plaza? That might actually change a few things here. If I do this, sorry, this should be this. I'm going to want a theater square as well at some point. Perhaps like there, if I go for the Great Library. The problem is I also want to go for the Apadana. in order to be able to get extra culture. Let's have a look. So yeah, I, I would like to get the Apadana and the Great Library. I think I will skip the Oracle this game. Now, in order to get the Great Library, it needs to be adjacent to that. This just needs to be adjacent to the capital. Okay. I'm going to grab a slinger real quick. How much is it to purchase one? Actually, we're only a few turns away from purchasing one, so I'll purchase a slinger. Because every turn that we get science is a big deal. Keep exploring. Excellent. Okay, two turns until the sale one is finished. Now... We're going to want to remember when and where we get different things. We're obviously playing on Deity. We would never play on anything other than Deity if you're asking in chat. Okay, there is everything. Okay, horses have appeared that ruin my Great Library plan, which means the Great Library is going to have to go over here. 
Um, that's a little bit unfortunate, but now we're getting signs from those mines. I'd like the wheel, the watermill, the earlier we get that, the better. Um... So in terms of fighting... Let's go ahead and get our library up. And what is our relationship with Hattusa? They want a Eureka for Astrology. I'm surprised that I have not found a natural wonder yet, considering how much of the map I have revealed. I actually don't know if a one city challenge on DD is possible, but we're going to give it the best shot that we can. Let's get that there. Library is coming out. There's the wheel, there's state workforce. workforce as it is to have a profitable bottom line. Now let's go ahead and... Did I get a Pantheon? I did. So Divine Spark would get me an extra great person point throughout the game. Goddess of the Harvest would be quite nice too. All right, let's see. Uh, so the people who are telling me that I have to kill people, the entire point of me doing this is to try and do it pacifist without killing people. Um, so I want something that'll give me a lot of value throughout the game. It's kind of hard here, because, like, Divine Spark would give me a lot of value throughout the game, but, um... Yeah, we'll go for Divine Spark. It would be hard to scale on science. Yep, that's the entire point. J j to see if it can be done. Um... That is the entire point, to see if it can be done. Let's go ahead and work on Masonry. And we will head for political philosophy. We're also going to go ahead and appoint Pingala in the capital. We need another builder. Oh, there's the classical age. We are in a dark age, but that's not a big deal. Foreign trade. I would like a trader. God, I just want to start building settlers. <laughs> uh, let's see. What great scientist is coming up next? I'm going to go ahead and run. I'm going to go ahead and grab a builder. I'm going to go ahead and plug in Ilkum, now that I have a thing. And I'm going to plug in a... Yeah, I'll leave this the way it is. This will give me a production boost towards builders. In terms of dedication, we're going to go ahead and do um, free inquiry. I want to get my government plaza out. I need to get my water mill out as well. I don't see any barb camps nearby. Let's park you on the hill for vision. Are you really attacking me? Be 
Behold the wonders of the heaven. Alright, there's the boost for astrology, which is giving me extra signs from Hattusa now. That's nice. It appears they are looking to go to war with me. Go here and uh, chop out... A slinger. Unfortunate reality that I would love to be doing other things than defending myself. Too bad you can't declare joint war early. There's your 10 gold. Now be nice to me. I didn't even know DD One City Challenge was possible. Neither did I. I don't know if it's possible either. That's why we're doing it to try and find out if it's possible. So what's the win condition? We win by science. That is the objective. That is the goal. Fortunate reality is this guy really wants to kill me. I've got nothing to sell them either. More city states. Yeah, there it is. Unfortunate reality of having like no units. Um, reality is often disappointing. Indeed, it is. Okay, if you fortify there, you're dead. Fortunately, if I move you here, you can't shoot anything. It's the only way to keep my stuff alive for the potential counterattack. Of course, he survives. Of course, he does. I think we. I think we'll be fine once we get the walls up. have a look. I mean, if we get the walls up, Jesus. Look back over the past. Let's go ahead and take the uh, garrison promotion on you. See if we can get that heavy chariot. Promote Pingala with Researcher. The hard knock life. Don't you dare pillage my stuff.
you'll stay fortified here. In theory, this guy will come try to kill you. Then I'll get a triple shot on him. Awesome. And then I'll be able to whip, switch these guys if I need to. Okay, I think we're fine. I mean, it's a little sketchy, but I think we're fine. I, we're fine! Come on, like, come on, there's nothing wrong here. There we go. So now, the magic of swapping. All these goddamn pins in my way make my life hard. Let me kill this guy. Uh, unfortunately, it's going to take three shots. I was hoping that it would only take two. You stay fortified there, buddy. Exactly what we were hoping for. He kills the warrior. One man's magic. Now, I did say we were going to try to be pacifist. But I think in this context, he attacked me. I would like to click on the attack button. So, I mean, any counterattack would be totally justified. I don't have the money to upgrade that. Alrighty. Uh, so we definitely want to get the currency thing. Okay, that's pretty normal. Bring you up onto the hill. I was hoping to get Apadana and stuff, but that might be a pipe dream. Let's make sure we're killing off units fully. Finally go get those horses online at long last. Uh, let's get another archer. I guess we'll kill the Khmer. Pillage the life out of him. He's not building walls. I should have a Gog plugged in. Or a Gog A, as people like to call it. I don't know. People get mad when I mispronounce things, dude. Okay, we're going to build a pasture. Very nice. Yeah, that's fine. You're allowed to attack me. Very good. You have another promotion. We'll take incendiaries. We'll finish you off. Of course, you're attacking me, you foolish man. Politics is the art There's political philosophy. Let's go ahead and plug in oligarchy. I don't know, autocracy would be good, but I never actually built the government plaza. It's hard to justify it. Okay. Step you forward. Get on the hill for defensive reasons. Now, ideally, right now, I would be building the Apadana. And I would have my government plaza placed. Unfortunate reality is... We're gonna pass on that guy. Ah, she sniped the library one. Just not good enough as a great scientist for me to uh, stop off for. Money. 
get the city shot. Oh my god, okay, fuck these pins, dude. I'm actually sick of them. <laughs> I'm actually sick of these pins. I'm done. I'm done with pins. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and grab a horseback riding. We are going to want to build a um, horse unit or two. Now, we have a bit of cash in the bank. Well, that's pretty normal. Let's see, I'd rather get experience. So he's actually building walls as we speak. Which is really the opposite of good, which means I can't afford to go for Apadana. I don't think this offensive is going to work. I mean, we might take out this. I'll put some damage on it. Nope. I want to pillage your lands. Nope. Stop. No hour of life. This is unacceptable. <laughs> Why? Why are you here? We need to get this killed so we can stand an archer on it to get the 10 combat bonus. Um, so in terms of advancing, I would really like to get this. I swear to God, dude, if those city-state units hadn't walked by, I would have totally killed that encampment, no problem. <laughs> I swear to God. And my thingy, my chariot doesn't even have a level, and now it's got walls. All right, that's it. We're calling this one a bust. <laughs> okay. Things didn't go well. I need to do this without getting the early war. I don't think we can really do this if we get ward early. So I'm going to call this a failure and restart. I love you all very much, and I'll see you next time.